Faithful Fridays, and I wanted to share four words with you. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. I want you to remember those and decree and speak those in your life this week. Because in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus is teaching the disciples how to pray. And it's the Lord's Prayer. And he says, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. In Matthew 6, 10, it basically says, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. See, what we need to do is say, Thy will be done, so that we can see heaven on earth in some areas of our life. Because what we have to do sometimes is surrender our will to God's will because we have to trust that his will is better than our own. See, what you do when you allow yourself to surrender your will or for God's will is you are telling God that I trust you. I looked up the definition of will and what will is is the power to make a decision or choice over your life it is also the authority to make an action or movement for or in your life so what you're doing is when you surrender your will and you tell god thy will be done god i'm giving this to you thy will be done in this situation you're telling god i trust you enough to have the power to make the decisions for me to have the power to choose the things that you know are better Better than me than I know for myself to move and make actions in areas of my life that I can't even move and make actions in on my own that is what you do when you surrender and you allow thy will to be done in your life what you have to do is there's sometimes where you don't pray or you don't know what to say or you don't know what the next move for your life is or, or where God is headed in your life or taking you sometimes when you're speechless or you just don't know what to do I want you to just say thy will be done for my life. Thy will be done on my job. Thy will be done on my marriage. Thy will be done in my singleness. Thy will be done in my children's life. Thy will be done in every area of your life. You speak that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven so that you can begin to see heaven on earth in every area of your life. You will begin to see the favor and prosperity and abundance that God has stored up just for you. You will begin to see the healings and the restoration and you will begin to see divine relationships and acquaintances and movement and promotions and things that God has for you because you are surrendering the choices that you want to make and you are surrendering it over to God so he can make the perfect choices to get you to the perfect places. Those four words are so powerful. When you don't know what to pray or you don't know what to say, and sometimes you're searching and you don't know what to look for, all you have to do is say, thy will be done and it will be done for your life as it is in heaven. It will be made perfect and it will look perfect and feel perfect. Sometimes when we go off on our own will, we end up in more of a, of a mess than if we would have just gave it to God from the beginning. So this week, I want to leave you with, thy will be done. Say that for every area of your life and watch God bring heaven on earth just for you. I hope you enjoyed this message. I'll see you next week. I decree and declare abundance and favor over your life and you're going to see thy will be done in every area. Be blessed.